How has starting your own business changed how you manage your personal finances? Um, for me, there really hasn't been that much of a difference. I think the way I handle my personal finances allowed me to start my own business. Um, <laughs> so it, it one kind of led to the other. I, you know, when I had a, a traditional job, you know, I, I, I used to work at Goldman Sachs and, and I did well there, but I didn't spend like how people traditionally think people in those sorts of jobs spend money. Right. Um, and, and that comes from my parents. You know, they were sort of, you know, they were thrifty. You know, that was that was how we were able to, you know, support ourselves and, and eventually buy a home and, and eventually pay for college and things like that. So I think I internalized those same lessons. So having, once I left the firm, having a, a nest egg um, gave me options where I didn't need to go and get the highest paying job if I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. So I was able to sort of figure out my own path. Um, and that led me to eventually doing what I'm doing now. So it was sort of a roundabout way, but it, it all worked out in the end. But it, a large part of that was having, I guess, that, um, that security blanket to know, oh, I don't have to do another Wall Street job. Like I mm -hmm. left the Wall Street job on purpose and I don't need to go back to one because I'm running out of money or something like that. 